that? If anybody says a word, just one word, I'm going straight to Miss Harbroom. That won't be necessary, Ethel Hallow. If that is indeed to whom I am speaking. Please, Miss Harbroom. Yes, yes, we've read the note from your father, Ethel. Your parents have given their permission. So I suppose that is the end of the matter. Thank you, Miss Harbroom. So, when the rest of you have finished gawping like demented goldfish, you might like to go and greet the new girls in the traditional manner. Mildred, you haven't been back at school five minutes and you're up to your old tricks already. No, I'm not, Miss Harbroom. Deary me, what on earth has happened to this poor girl? It wasn't me, Miss Cappell. I didn't do anything. She only <laughs> smiled at them, Miss Cappell. A likely story. And this is Miss Hardbroom, the deputy head. Tell us what it is that's upset you. <laughs> yes, speak up, girl. No need to be afraid. <laughs> oh, 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 Miss Bat. Miss Hardbroom, that was hardly necessary. The school walls were beginning to shake, Miss Cackle. I thought we were under attack by evil Agatha and her wicked witches. That's Mongolian undertone chanting. It does things. So I see. I hope it isn't going to do them too often. Uh, how are the new girls? Meek as lambs. Although I can't vouch for those two you sent off with Mildred. It's year two that concerns me. I can sense something undisciplined sprouting amongst the second years, and it needs rooting out. I would suggest, Headmistress, that Miss Gimlet organize a full class inspection first thing tomorrow. Where is she, by the way? Ah, yes, Miss Hardbroom. That's something I think we need to discuss. The Inner Hebrides. Miss Gimlet needed to recover from a state of nervous exhaustion. Brought on, no doubt, by the mere thought of a year with Mildred Hubble. We'll need an immediate replacement. Out. But we... Miss Cackle said we should... Oh! Who is to be the replacement second-year tutor, Miss Cackle? We need a clear, firm decision here and now. Really, Miss Cackle, don't you think it's high time we put an end to this ridiculous contest? I beg your pardon? Make a decision, Miss Cackle, about which one is to be the replacement second-year tutor. There are rival gangs of supporters running round the school like football fans. It's unseemly. Well, I think it's important to arrive at the right match so to speak, don't you, Miss Hartbroom? School rules have been openly flouted, Miss Cackle. It has come to my notice that Mildred and her friends have been secreting jewellery and other fashion items. It's a grey area, Miss Hartbroom. The girls are all growing up. I want you to leave it to Miss Drill and Miss Bat. See how they deal with it. But they will... I'll make my decision, Miss Hartbroom, when the time is ripe. I think you've put enough sugar on that already, Mildred Hubble. Yes, Miss Harper. Life might be sweet for you and your friends at the moment, Mildred, but I want you to know that whoever may be your class tutor, I am the deputy head of Cackles Academy, and no secrets remain hidden from me. What on earth has happened to you? is I'm not sure whether Miss Bat or Miss Drill are quite up to it. Oh, they seem to be totally unable to control them. Well, they're a very lively bunch, our second years. Slackness, Miss Cackle. It begins with earrings and it ends with rowdiness, bullying and gang warfare. Over these first few days, the second years have become the proverbial powder keg, ready to explode. Well, bullying and victimization. Enid, Mildred, Maud, Ruby, Jardu, down to Miss Cackle's office at once. Miss Hardroom will replace Miss Gimlet as their class tutor for another year. No, not you, Mildred. Ruby Cherry Tree. So take your brush and dip it into the potion. Then apply it to the fingertips of either hand. Definitely not like nail varnish. Right. That should be enough. Now, when I call your name, I want you to make one of these pine cones vanish. Understood? Right. I can't believe we've got it to be again. <laughs> Ah, 
And whose clever handiwork was this? And where, may I ask, are you five off to? Mildred? Well, we heard the alarm, Miss Alarm? Adam. I hear no alarm. Do you? No, Miss. And where do you suppose these girls are going, hmm? You must think I was born yesterday. Go on. Back to the kitchens. There is no need to ask which pupil is responsible for this. Oh, thank you, Mildred. You can stay in here, so we can keep an eye on you. Well primed, Miss Cackle. As soon as the bell sounds, they will come down from their rooms and queue up outside the great hall in orderly line. What a pleasure it is to be back at Cackle's. Line up in silence, girls. Six, seven, eight. Constance, we seem to have a second chair missing. Are you sure? Yes. We should have the whole class minus two plus Maud, which makes three. If you are here, Mildred, I would suggest you stand at once and explain yourself. I do apologise most humbly, Your Honour. The girl was banned from coming here tonight. And Miss Hardbrum? I don't think we can send this girl back to her room again, not after this act of heroism, now can we? No, oh, whatever you wish, Your Honour. Mildred Hubble, what are you doing? It wasn't me, Miss Hubble. The shelves just gave way. You mean you were clumsy? No, I hardly touched them. Maybe they've got woodworm or something. Well, don't just go up, girl. Clear it all up. You've had a lucky run lately, Mildred. Very lucky. Impressing the chief wizard, coming through your programme of special duties unscathed. But I've not been fooled. You're still the same nuisance you always were. What's that smell? <gasps> oh, sorry, Miss Harbroom. There. Look. Hiccuping potion, Miss <gasps> Harbroom. <gasps> Ethel, quick. Find a mop. That potion is very strong and it spreads like... Oh, for goodness sake. Yes, miss. Oh, quickly, quickly, before it gets the whole class. Oh. We know the name of our visitor? Um, yes. It's here somewhere. Mistress Hecate Broomhead. Ooh. What's the matter, Constance? Ladies, be afraid. Be very afraid. Constance, please, at least tell us who this woman is, for goodness sake. If she has a reputation, Constance, shouldn't we be warned? Mistress Hecate Broomhead was my personal tutor at Witch Training College. She more or less taught me everything I know. She's quite the most thorough, demanding and relentless witch I've ever come across. Hide you. Not to put too fine a point on it. Keep you in here for the day so that you don't exist. I do exist. Yes. What are you going to do with them? Don't worry. They'll be perfectly happy. Ah, I believe you know my deputy headmistress, Constance Hartbroom. Constance? It's an honour to make your acquaintance again, Mistress Broomhead. I wish I could say the pleasure was mine. I must say I'm surprised, Constance, to find such a promising student as you ending up in an establishment like this. Ah, well, I can see why you might say that. In any case, speak up, girl. Well, what is this boy doing? What are these boys doing here? Miss Hart... Well, thank you very much for your kindness, Your Honour. But I'm afraid there's a problem with the food. There's a book about it in the library. I know the one. It's a ridiculous idea for a potion. Not in any of the books. I'm sure it shouldn't be so black. I had an accident with the slow juice. I wonder what Bat and Drill are up to. Hey! Miss! Constance and Amelia are cheating! We were not! Ridiculous. An anti-gunge potion. What would anyone want that for in the first place? And now, we're going to test them. 
remind you, Fenella Feverfew, that this day will, in the fullness of time, come to an end.